Oh no, it's the dreaded cucumber beetle. Actually, I don't really care. <laughs> uh, cucumber beetles really are not a problem in this garden. It's a natural garden, there's more than enough predation on those little buggers that uh, they just really don't do a whole lot. Um, except to be food for something else. So, what this video is actually about is pollinating squash flowers. But not just pollinating squash flowers, but pollinating them so that you can collect the seed that will then grow a squash plant true to type. So, I believe this one is a butternut and it's producing its male and female flowers and we're getting quite a few of them. So I wanted to come out here early in the morning just as I have a male and a female flower opening up and before the pollinating ins insects start uh, running around here. So I started doing this and then decided I wanted to film it or at least show you what's going on here. So. I went along the plant and I grabbed the male flower and I just ripped off all the petals so that I now have a paintbrush which I then take over to a female flower and you can tell it's a female flower because it'll have a fruit on the base there and I just paint the inside of the flower with the pollen on the male flower here and when that's done I am going to close up the flower and prevent any insects from coming in there and trying to repollinate it potentially with a different type of squash plant. So the thing I do is I just grab either a rubber band or a little clothespin here and I'm going to clip that and cover it up so that they can't get in there and repollinate the flower. Then definitely going to uh, mark it in some way shape or form so that I know the fruit when I go to harvest it that that is something that has a seed that's going to produce a, another squash that's going to be true to type and so I know I can maintain the heritage of this type of squash year over year and uh, not have to worry about cross-pollination so that's just how I uh, pollinate my flowers to make sure that I get fruit that will produce a seed that gives me the type of squash I want when I want to grow this again next year. And there we go. So I've got an elastic band on there and I've doubled it up with a clothespin. I've got the vine marked off right where the fruit is going to form. And in a few days that flower is going to fall off and I'm not going to have to worry about any other insect getting in there to pollinate that flower. And that's how I know I will have seed in that fruit that will grow the squash chew to type next year. Alright, thanks for watching.